Good morning. Yeah, I discovered a new problem. Uh, not enough light for filming. So this is going to be a dark one. The dark one. Uh, yeah, mountain. And we're going to do this one. Yeah, this sucks guys, uh, I need more light. Let me get some more light, hold up. Yeah, this is really, really annoying. Uh, it's a very stupid camera angle. Can I work with it? <clears throat> Dendrobium tetragonum. And after two weeks it's still wet. It's in moss. And here we go. Now I know there's someone watching that probably hopes it falls apart in a few pieces because I promised her one. Uh, well, let me clean that up first. Yeah, this is not uh, the preferred way to work, guys. <clears throat> and as promised, I'm going to mount this one. So, let's free it of the moss. I'm gonna keep calm. And keep the stress to a minimum. Let's talk about the weather. That's not stressful at all. It's cold. And it's windy. And that's about it. Let no laws. So. I hope the mount isn't too small. I had a, a pretty piece of cork. Let's not do that. Yeah, sometimes you hear those <coughs> breaking noises, and that's usually the moss. Yeah, this is absolutely the last time I do it with lighting like this. Uh, I need to, uh, to get some holes in the wall, because this is blinding light, really. nervous yet <laughs> yeah why or oh, why do they do this I really don't think that this is necessary and <clears throat> they send it really really wet and there's a nursery here in Holland that only sells seedlings and small plants but 
when you order you get a warning that it can take up to three weeks before they start packing because your orchid needs to dry because most of their stuff is in moss so you know that when you order it will probably take the better part of three weeks and even then you don't get a completely bone dry orchid there's always some moist left and this one has been in here for way too long there's a lot of green stuff on the outside but there's not much on the inside yeah my plants are uh, starting to react uh, if you look at this one this uh, encyclia oh yeah it's uh, facing this side to the window this side and the growth are starting to grow to the window already after one week Yeah, that's the root. Yeah, this has probably been in here since a seedling. That's why it's so compacted. That was a rule. Uh, yeah, I'm about to pause you guys. It's taking a lot longer than I want. It also reminds me of repotting stuff. Yeah, I still have to do that. <clears throat> Especially new orchids. Uh, yeah, um, about the cocoa husk. Uh, Roger has to repot his because, well, yeah, temperatures and la di da. So the cocoa mix stays wet for too long. And the same applied to my old grow room, but this one is much warmer, much lighter, so I think they can stay where they are. So I only have to repot the new ones. Yeah, uh, I'm about to go Jean-Claude Van Damme on this stuff, so I'm going to pause you. Well, that was fun. Uh, it's not as uh, grown from a seedling. Uh, there is uh, there's a rhizome in the middle, so it's cutting. But that's okay. Okay, now for the, well, easy bit. Yeah, it's, uh, it's basically all good. It's been cut from here. And then grown on from this little bunch here. 
Well, <clears throat> let's get it on the board. Uh, no. Not on a board. It's going on a stick. A we. Now, how do we... That's not visible. Well... Mm. Uh, I also have a, a MOS deficiency. Yes! Uh, do we get medication for that? Uh, <coughs> <coughs> yeah, I only have this much sphagnum left. Which is a, well, a very little bit. But... I have other kinds of moss. Um, sphagnum. And I have this stuff. This is just a mosses gardenia. Garden moss. And I have some Welsh moss. Now this stuff, the normal garden moss, doesn't hold any water. None. Uh, this holds water, but not much, and not for very long. So, um, this one, yeah, I'm going to cover uh, this one with the little bit of sphagnum I have, and then cover that with this to keep the moisturity up a little bit more. And yeah, then I will have to go for new moss. New moss on Monday. No. Yeah, that was a reference. And I bet no one guesses it. Uh, yeah, hold up. And there we go. Um, the orchid, yeah, I can just do that with fishing line because it sits in this fork here. Uh, let me do it like this. Yay. No, that's crap. Damn. This light be terrible. Um, this is the growth direction, so if you place it like this, it will automatically start growing on the back side. They always do. Now, that looks pretty. Don't break too much, please. There we go. Ah, 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 ah. Think it all. Uh, why do we always forget the wire first? And do I have enough? I really, really hope so. It would be very, very annoying to pause you and go to the store. And again, the Moraliana. Eilke, why did you send me that thing? It's been a nuisance ever since I got it. <laughs> it's, it can't stand on the table because the growths are growing down with... Uh, it's a dry to water and I keep bumping my head into it. What's this? Slug damage? Oh, damn it. Ah, well, never mind, not for today. Uh, this is easier 
Yes, it is. It is easy. Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> and here's one of the the really annoying traits of mounting on round wood. There's oh yeah, too near rolling, and uh, there's hardly anything to tie. Oh, to pull the knot against. Um, Do we need a little? No, we don't. That's not where you were. No, that's not where you were. We were like this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is really, really not enough, but That's for the moss, now the orchid, and then the second layer of moss. No. Ah, too no heavier. Well, if you don't do it like I want, I'm gonna have to force you. <clears throat> and I'm strapping it to the the last pieces of the rhizome. So let's hope that holds. here out and moss here and now I don't have no wire well Screw it. I'm fed up already. I don't have my glue. Oh no. Yeah, sure. Why make it easy? Uh, yeah, 
that is still going to work. Yeah, some roots are cracked, but it will make new ones. There we go. <clears throat> now, I'm going to sit on my ass and have an aspirin because now I have a headache because of the stupid lighting. Um, yeah. What's creaking here? That's the sound stuff makes when it's about to fall. Okay. Well, uh, Dendrobium tetragonum. What's that squeaky sound? Yeah, uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna hang it in a place where it doesn't annoy me. Well, my uh, nobile is in flower, you can't see it, but <clears throat> yeah, I really have to uh, adjust to this grow room, even more so than the plants. Or did I say that already? <clears throat> Hibiki, that's not good. Dendrochylum, that's really good. Uh, yeah, the rest you saw. Uh, <clears throat> Ooh. That's also really good. That's not good. More stuff that's not good? No. It's all pretty good. Um, Catacetum planiceps. Um, well, it's... A, I thought it was going dormant, but nay, there is a new growth. And it was round when I discovered it. And when it's round, it usually means there's a spike, but it's pointy, so. Pointy is leaves. Um, this one was also doing stuff. It's been dormant for a few weeks. Let's see what happens. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to think about repots because I don't want to. Okay, guys, later.